Hi, my name is Andrea Beck. I'm the author-illustrator of uh, 17 picture books for children, including Elliot Moose, Pierre Lepouf, and Good Night and Good Morning Canada. So actually, we didn't have books in my house when I was a child, so I was first introduced to them at school, and I remember being totally preoccupied by the illustrations. Um, so it was probably a book, the name of which I can't remember, but in uh, one of my classes I remember that the teacher could not get my attention and I looked up suddenly with all eyes on me, uh, realizing I had been buried in just examining an illustration and trying to figure out how somebody had done that. And you know, every picture book starts out with first a story and then an artist like me creates a whole series of pictures like that that are then compiled. Well, the first book was Elliot, an Elliot Moose book, and uh, prior to being a children's author, I was um, a toy maker. I had a toy company in uh, Richmond Hill, and actually Thornhill, and um, <clears throat> there would be days where we'd have huge shipments of moose and beavers and what have you all lined up on the tables ready to be examined, and sometimes I would walk by that table on my way to the office and imagine that the toys had moved or that they were mumbling amongst themselves in toy language that our human ears just couldn't hear. So um, it was at that time that I thought, oh, I'd really love to write stories about these, these toys and turn them into characters. But I was busy running a company and I, I didn't have time. So it was later when my kids entered school that I was able to do that. I have stopped producing Elliot stories for now. I uh, worked on another series, a little mini series, uh, Pierre Le Pouf, which I enjoyed very much. And I have recently uh, done something a little different with Good Night and Good Morning Canada, which Good Night Canada was sort of a lullaby uh, to our country, but also it speaks to the community of children that are in the company that are in the country, all going to bed at the same time, province by province by province. And the idea of that appealed to me. So I have another couple of those types of uh, uh, books in me that are currently being worked on, and I have other um, sort of older stories for older kids that are in the drawer waiting to come out, and. I have been toying with the idea of another Elliot Moose book recently just because he has, it's been a while since he's made an appearance and I'm still contacted all the time by people who love Elliot. They're trying to get hold of the books and they tell me stories of their kids naming everybody in the family after the Elliot characters and all this and I realize he's a really enduring character and that people want more Elliots. So I'm actually letting that uh, creep into my mind a little more these days.